All right, good evening. I'm, I'm David Talbot. And you're going to go through run your back office like a boss. So this is back office training with me. So I'm going to go through key things for you to understand about your back office, some tricks and tips and tricks and so forth. But basically for help you to understand how the back office works and what you need to do when you're coming into this as um, a business. So how to get into your back office. Some of you already know this already. Um, basically, you need to go to im.academy slash login, and then you have an option there, type in your username and your password, and you'll log in, and you'll get your back office like so. So this is where you can do all your add-ons and all the other stuff as well. Now, as everyone has all started off, we all start off as customers. Um, we get a different menu when you're a customer to those who are business owners. As a customer, you'll just have certain things that you'll see, shopping cart and stuff like that. But when you become a business owner, you get extra stuff on top. Now, this is showing you a different view of your business, the people and everything else. You can see people that are under you have been placed under you and so forth. Well, when you're a customer, you can only see the people that you've referred only. OK, so you can only see and all your orders and so forth. But as a business owner, you can see so much more. Um, the Chairman Hall of Fame, the, the Enrollment Leaderboard, um, uh, payment options when you want to basically add in and get your residual income and so forth. There are additional stuff in there, things like the compound plan and stuff like that as well. So how to upgrade to IBO. So when you get to a point where you have, um, I will usually say to people, when you've got your fourth customer or you've got to a point where you've reached three people because um, one of your legs has been um, used by one of your uplines so they might have added someone in to help you boost you when you become a business owner then you would be advised by your team leader to go IBO this is the reason is because you end up with a fourth leg um, so sometimes you don't need to go to IBO when you have three you can wait until um, some of you might go two and three and so forth but when you get a fourth leg I always say to people um, go IBO because you've got to place that person under your other p free people because you've got to have three legs it's important it's about having three legs um because the way it is and there's a cheat sheet i'm going to show you it's important that you have three legs because they're going to base the number of volume on your three legs so if you get a fourth person you have to go ibo you become an independent business owner and you start getting residual income and they have to place you have to place that person you get the ability to place a person under someone else and then you can do that but the thing is, it creates uh, momentum for not just for you, but also the people you've introduced as well. So when they become IBO, because you're basically building on free legs, um, you're helping them to achieve and rank up. So sometimes people will go P150 and they're already halfway to the next rank P600 because their upline has been placing people under them and they didn't really know it. So it's easy to get there. So you need to go to your shopping cart. There will be an option for the IBO membership, which is $16.71, so around about £13. And that will be um, every month. You tick the box at the bottom and you click on order now and you are done. So what's the difference between obviously two and three and obviously P150? This is your personal signups. For you to rank, you need three personal signups. It's not one where basically I am an upline and I place one under you. That's my personal sign up. You need free personal signups have used your link. And once you've had that, you can have a choice. You can stay to, you can go to and free. Um, and then when you get a fourth person, then you become an IBO and place someone. So you'd be able to place them because you can't run your business on four legs. Um, and then that way you're getting a residual income of $150. So you can see here, here's the compensation plan. Um, feel free to take a picture of this and so forth. So you'll see there the qualified subscribers. You need free qualifying subscribers for a P150, and these need to be personal. And they equate to a volume of 435. Now, that is based on um, the old volume for each individual um, customer of 145. Now, in 2020, um, I am increased the um, subscription um, and increase the price of the subscription and in turn increase the volume by an extra five so you get 105 but they still work on the 145 volume so it means that you get get to your rank quicker and especially when people add on add-ons they add on extra volume onto your packages so people can move up quicker as well and even things like people going elite that's extra volume as well so it helps you rank up quicker 
as well. So you can see from the P600, you need 12 customers. And these 12 customers do not need to all come from you. Um, they can come from people in your team, your upline and so forth. So as long as you've got free paying customers. Now what I mean by free paying customers, these customers cannot be IBOs. So if they want to become an IBO, you lose their personal volume, but you keep them in the group volume, which helps you still rank, but you need free personal volumes for you to actually um, stay in your rank. And I'll show you that in a bit later as well. But you can see gradually, you can see there, when you're P150, you get $37.50 a week because you get paid weekly. But when you're P150, you get paid fortnightly. Um, and I'll explain that with, in terms of Skrill. Um, Skrill, you get paid fortnightly and so forth. When you're P600, you get $150 a week. So you get $150 a week and you need 12 customers, 444. Four, four. When it's platinum 1000, you need 200, you get $250 a week. Now, um, and then based on the 12 customers, 12, 12, 6, so this is like a cheat. But if you're able to balance your legs out, you're able to do that. So I have some leaders who have balanced legs. So someone has 11, um, 10, and a 9. So basically, it's not 12, 12, 6, but she also has different leg legs balanced there to keep her in her ranking P1K. So these are like the cheat sheets for you to rank up and the weekly volume, weekly basically residuals that you get each week. Um, so once you hit P600, you get paid weekly, but P150 you get paid fortnightly as well. And it's important that you have your rank on a Monday. Um, so, cause that's Monday is the cutoff. So when you go to, when you have your rank on a Monday, it will be in the US time. So by midnight, Monday EST or 5 a.m. Uh, BST in the morning or G uh, UK time in the morning, you need to make sure you have your rank so that in the week after you'll get paid for that rank. So it's like a 10 day cycle sort of thing. You make sure you have your rank there. If you just hit a rank midweek, then you won't get paid for that rank for two to three weeks um, because it's midweek because Monday is the day when you have to make sure you qualify. So always take, make sure that people have checked on their people and that are paying their bills and their subscription because sometimes you can de-rank and you de-rank on that big day where you need to make sure you have that rank because then it means that you get you don't get paid if you're p150 and you de-rank or say for example you're a higher rank and you drop down to like say for example from p1k to p600 you won't get paid that p1k money you'll get paid p600 money the following week so it's important that you make sure that your customers are paying their subscription you make sure you check on your customers as well and see what they're doing so it's important there so the qualified for you subscribers as well you've got to have that and um, the number of people but then when i'll show you something this is for people on the normal package so when a customer goes into elite it can be less people as well but the qualified for group for you you need overall so payment options these are the different so one of the payment options that we all use is Skrill. Uh, Screw is like a standard one we use, we all use here. Now it's important that when you do go IBO, you set up your Skrill. Uh, I know that Katie's on the call, she set up her Skrill herself. Um, you need to use the same email address that you use to set up your IM account when you set up your Skrill. If it's not, then you won't be getting your money because they match up your, your IM account. So IM will match up your IM account with your Skrill account so they know where to send the money to. So make sure you have that and it's all set up. So when you have that set up and so forth. Now, when you get to your Skrill, then once you've set it up and you receive your first payment, then when you go into your Skrill back office, when you go into Skrill and you log in there, it will ask you to verify your ID. So you need to have proof of ID that you can scan, but also you need to take a photograph of yourself as well. Once you've done that and you've verified it, then you'll be able to access your funds. You can transfer it to your bank account or you can register for a Skrill card, which costs around about eight pounds. But once you get it, you can use it and so forth. It takes about just over a week to arrive and then you can go to the shops and use it because it's a, it's a prepaid MasterCard, which can be used anywhere in the world, which is amazing. So when should you upgrade to free, upgrade to IBO? And I did say this before, um, two and three is only for customers. So if you do upgrade to as an IBO, you will lose the option for you to go to and free again. So you'll continue to pay. But when you upgrade, you can upgrade when you have three or four people. Because if you have four people, then you need to move that fourth person under one of your free legs. Okay. 
um, and that's the best time to go. So like I said, if you upgrade um, while you're on two and three, so I have someone who's just upgraded to IBO and she's still on two and three. So she keeps that two and three, but she won't start paying for another few weeks and then it will come up. But it will come up as a decline for me, knowing that she has to activate the rolling subscription again. So that rolls on again. Okay. And then it covers the majority of your cost of your subscription when you start from P150. So you end up really paying about $30, um, depending on or doesn't include your add-ons on top. But it is important that you basically have mostly set up your, your Skrill so when you do get paid, you can basically pay your subscription. And the good thing about it is that when you build up your, your Skrill, you can pay your subscription with your Skrill. So when you go for your payment options, you can pay for your Skrill easily, but you just have to wait for your, your subscription to decline to get the option to pay for your subscription again. Just make sure you have enough money in your Skrill account to pay for it. So the goal is to have three legs. I always stress this to people, don't have four or so forth, because what I am will do, they will basically focus on your three strongest legs. So imagine if you had a fourth leg that was building the same rate as the third leg, then basically you are you will switch between the third and fourth leg, but you also you're disadvantaging yourself as well. Because the key thing is when you're disadvantaging yourself, you are basically, you could have put that fourth person under one of your legs and that person will be building you up so don't disadvantage yourself by doing i'm going to do four legs or you're not going to sign someone if you sign someone up and you've got to go ibo and i always stress this to people if you've got a fourth person don't be stubborn and not go ibo it's important to go ibo to place the person mm -hmm. okay and it's always good to have a good lot of personal volume um, because someone might leave and you might de-rank, but if you've got a lot of personals, you can keep that rank as well, okay? So when you look at this, so obviously it's gonna have your, your placement tree based on your rank report and so forth. You'll see that, you'll see the people's names and their ranks, their personal volume, so how much they're contributing to you in terms of if they bought a package, if they've got a package, but also their personal volume, so how many customers that they brought in personally and have subscribed to their business. Then their group volume. So it's how many customers in terms of volume, how much does it meet up to volume, so how much is that? And then basically, this is basically the amount of customers that they have based on this volume. Now I do it in a way where I you can divide the number by 145 and it'll tell you how many customers there are. Now that might not be a true reflection because some customers have elite. So if you have three customers on elite, it creates a fourth customer because the volume all adds up. But then you can see here, when you want to see how close you are to your next rank, you can add up these for you, these numbers here. And then when you do that, you can see how many customers you have, and then you can work out how close you are to your next rank. So say for example, if you're going for P5K and your volume, and you need to get 225 customers, if you add it all up, you're got 25 customers away, so you know how close you are. So when you go into the dashboard, it will give you something different. That's be based on the actual physical number of customers. The best one is the rank report one, which gives you this, this number, this number here, where you can work it out. Because you don't have need to have the actual physical number of 225 customers. You can rank up with less than that based on people adding add-ons or going elite. So when you do get customers, it's important that you do place them. You get them in a holding tank. You have 10 days and two chances. The first initial chance to place them. After that, you have one more chance if you change your mind to move someone. Once you've done that, you cannot move them again. So like I always say to people, if you've got a fourth, get a fourth leg, then make sure that you're able to place the person in within the 10 days. After that time, you can't move them. They stay where they are. So then you're stuck with a fourth leg. So it's always important that you do that. And it's very clear for you to do that and make sure that everything is there for you. So it will help you grow. So if you wanna, you get that, when you sign up a personal, you'll see that. You only see this when you're IBO. So once you're IBO and you sign up people and you build up your personals, you basically place them under someone else. You've gotta put the person you're placing them under, you put their ID number there and then you click on the place button. So you put their ID number there and then click on the place button and then they're placed under that person. Like I said, I'll stress to you, three legs, Please don't do four, five, or six. I've seen a few people with 
multiple legs or heard about a few people from the previous session they realized they had multiple legs but they didn't realize they need to place people so it's very very key that you do that because you'll disadvantage yourself in terms of ranking up to your next level um, but also if you do have that situation where you do have multiple legs um, then talk to that person who is one of those legs and you might be able to get them to to cancel and then resubscribe so you can under another card or another username and then place them under, you'll be able to place them under someone else. So that's one way of getting around it and seeing what you can do there. Um, and then just find a way of, say for example, covering the admin fee and so forth. But um, it's important that you do sort this out from the beginning. Don't let this get into a situation um, that you have more than three legs, because like I said, you disadvantage yourself. Um, how can you sell someone's active is very, very key. So one of the key things I do, and I do it every day as part of my daily routine. I do check my back office and I see who's paying and who's not paying, who's got volume and who's not got volume. Um, and it's a clear indication. So whenever you basically go into your back office, you go to your placement tree, you can, min you can maximize it. And when you put your mouse over the PV, um, it might say zero, it might say one, four, five, it will tell you when they've last paid. Now I use a tool, um, a website where I can put in, um, I can work out 28 days later. So I can put the date in and it'll tell me when their subscription is due. It will tell me when they've last, I can see when they're last paid, but I can see when they're, if they're inactive or active, if they've paid or they're not paid. It's a clear indication of whose customers are and so forth. So it's very important that you do check um, Luckily for most people, my team, I check this and I send decline reports and so forth. But it's good for you to see if people are paying or not. Um, and also to monitor your team, because um, some people can be sitting there not paying and not um, basically getting everything for free. And then obviously you de-rank as well. So you need to be on top of your customers and so forth. The other thing is the color coded system. When you go through, you can see for your organization um what ranks people are they, they have a color coded system so you can see brown is two and three so if you've got people at two and three unranked is white so no one's got a rank and obviously silver p150 and it carries on and so forth so you can see all your people within your organization what rank they are and how they're progressing but also when you go through your placement tree there are quite a few acronyms and so forth now, when you see PV, I said it's personal volume. So it's your personal volume that you basically, as um, you're still a customer, are you subscribing? Are you paying for a package? Um, it's a key thing. So I can see, and you can be able to see when you go IBO, who's paying for a package and not. Personal sales volume is how many customers, how many packages have you sold to customers? So customers and IBOs, that's all together. Now the PSRV, is the personal retail sale volume. Now, what I mean by that is, it's the, it's the sales volume, the volume of the customers, their packages, only customers, not IBOs. So whereas the personal sales volume includes IBOs, the PSRV only includes customers. So it's important that this is at a certain amount. So this is the one that's key to keep you in your rank. If So say for example, if you have four customers, and for IBOs, then for example, the four customers, for example, will be the ones that are keeping your rank. But if you drop down to two customers, obviously you need the, you need your free to keep your rank. So you might de-rank as well. And it's based on the PSRV. So these are people who just want to trade. They don't want to, um, they just want to trade. They don't want to be IBOs. They're the ones that keep you in the rank. So that's why I don't really force people to go IBO. It's up to them if they want to go IBO. If people say to me, I just want to trade, I don't mind paying for it, I'm happy for that because they keep me in my rank. So that's always a key thing to have that. And also you have your group total group for you. And that your total group form is where that's what works out to your rank. Um, that includes your IBOs and your, um, your customers volume, personal volumes together. And that's works it out there. And obviously you have your customer volume, but the one that basically works out your where you're going up to your rank is your total group volume. The PSRV is what your personal volume that you need to keep you in your rank as well, and so forth. And then obviously total customer volume is just the customers, but this is the key one. These are the two key ones, the PISV and the, T and the total GV. And you'll see why in a sec. 
So when I talk about the PSRV, you can see here, there is a minimum amount that you need to be in a certain ranks. So you can see here. So I need a volume of four, three, five. So I need three customers to be a P2K, P5K. If I've got three people that are paying a subscription um, and not IBO, that's perfect. But also there's a leg rule as well. So it's based on your, your weakest leg. So you've got to have a certain amount there as well. But also the leg rule works out there. It's perfect. You work out how much you, how much you are, how close you are to your next rank. And so you divide, this is what I use, I divide this number, what I'm remaining, by 145 to see how close I am, how many more customers I need to get to my next rank, okay? So it's very clear for you how many customers you need to get to your next rank. You need then also to keep this up as well. So you're gonna be looking at your, you know, your current rank, your, your basically your developing leg is the one that's gonna be keeping you up as well. So if your developing leg drops down um, and also some of your person and some of your other two legs drop down, then this goes down. And if it goes below that amount, you de-rank, go back to the previous rank. So it's always good to keep this up and keep this up. This one, once you've got that, you're right. So it's always good and so forth. Yeah, you can keep your leg balanced, but sometimes you're gonna get that point where you're gonna get a power leg. You're gonna get that leg boosting up and so forth. So I've got two legs that are literally the same and I've got another one that's going, growing. And so I can see all three legs moving up together and it gradually does that. It takes, it takes a bit of time um, for you to get to where you need to be and so forth. So when you have that, you divide this number, then you know how close you are to your next rank, which is really good. So say for example, you're going to P150 and then obviously you've got your three customers. You know that you need nine to go to your next rank. There we go. So you can see here, like so, so 6,900 divided by 145 equals 47.5. Now it says 0.5, it means that you do need 48, um, not 47, because um, you need to have that. Yeah, so you've got to include that bit. So if sometimes you might be, you missing a rank by five points or 10 points, so then it would depend, you might say to someone, look, I'll pay you for an add-on for you and then you can get your rank. Sometimes people have added add-ons as well, do it that way. But also if all your customers were elite, you only need 36 to hit that next, that next rank. So it's that way as well. So I've got a whole team that do elite packages because they're able to do it and that's it. Can you buy an add-on from someone? Yes, you can. Um, I've done it for a few people um, just as a one-off. And how, can, how do I do it? Screw you can pay for people's add-ons via Skrill. So um, they log in and then you can log into your Skrill and then pay for it. That's the great way of doing things because if you've got some money in your Skrill, you can buy someone a little add-on and it boosts you up. So if you are if you de-rank and you're like five, five points, um, five volume away from getting back on your rank and it's a Monday, you just go, look, I, I'll buy you an add-on, bang, that's it. And you're back up. So it's that cool. That's the cool way of doing that. So you can do it. Um, if it's, it does if it's yourself it doesn't work that way it's all everybody are below you so if you've got someone um like a family member on a package then just add buy an add-on for them or something like that i know some people have two accounts um i have an i have another account which is used by my nephew or sometimes i use it as well um which is good so sometimes i'll have that stuff on there as well so i can trade with it i can look at stuff and sometimes some people have a cover accounts with family members and just give that little boost to keep themselves up in a rank and so forth, which is really, really good. And there's no problem in doing that because if you're using the account, then there you go. So I know someone who's got their partner who's under them. And if you're just five or 10 points away or volume away from your next rank, then some of the add-ons like DeLorean, uh, Fibrata and so forth are five volume. Um, something like Colors is 10 volume. Um, and I think, yeah, no, for colors is 15. And so is, what else? Um, uh, DCX is 15 volume, um, 20 volume. I can't remember what's 20, uh, 10 volume, mm -hmm. but there's only big ones. Little, little add ons don't get you any extra volume as well. So it's always good when someone like, say, for example, Steph, she gets her team on to DeLorean, that's an extra five volume in each person. 
yeah my other half is with us yep yeah, and that's it no tension to build but sometimes you know what it's good to add the little add-ons under their one and use their one because that boosts you up um whatever you have in your package doesn't benefit you but it's good to have two accounts if you're both using them and so forth so i know we have two accounts and possibly a third one because we're constantly using them and so is other, other family members so they'll come in and have another account and so forth so you can see here uh the rank requirements so p150 you need free personal customers so these ones you need the free personal customers here 600 this is where you basically your psrv it could drop to drop below this is like equivalent to two customers but i always say people still have those free because if you haven't hit the rank yet make sure you hit the rank so you need 12 12 customers in total don't need to all come from you and you have that rule of you've got to have more customers than ibos in your organization but you can see here with the p1k you might drop down from 2k if you've got two customers that keeps you up that might keep you up there as well and um, but you need 30 in total now when you look up here p2k 5k chairman 10 um and even chairman 25 chairman 50 and chairman 100 you could hit chairman with just three customers and the rest of the organization building under you so it's always good to have more i always stress this with people because one of those customers goes you de rank i've seen someone drop from 1k down to p150 uh because they didn't have they need a cost they need one more customer to get them back on their p1k rank so they they dropped they've gone to at 290 which means they're p well they've gone free cost their p150 because they couldn't even hit that but they've got they haven't got enough for you so they've dropped from 1k down to p150 they need one more customer to go all the way back up to 1k and so forth so you can see it all here and so forth so you can see here this is the weekly rank cheat sheet you'll see this in the rank report so you can see the same thing that i showed you in the earlier shot and you can see all the different ranks you can get how many customers you need now there is a cheat there is also when you got customers are coming to elite they push you up and you need less customers to hit your ranks so we've got i've got one team that just has everyone on elite which means their leader um who does uh, basically people are hitting ranks quicker so they will have less customers than 30 and they're on hitting the ranks higher than you so imagine a chairman 10 where you need 372 um customers to hit t10 uh, compared to 500 on a normal package if people are adding add-ons and so forth then it's going to basically create phantom people invisible people when it adds on so if you had um, three people on Elite, it would create an, one additional customer because of the volume. It's 195 volume for Elite. And, and a customer, it would go up even more. Um, a customer would be 100, sorry, 195. Normal one would be 150. So if you get 195 on Elite, as long as people are using everything, then that's great. So that's what we make sure people who are going Elite, they are utilizing the whole package. And you can see there. So I know some chairmen, some teams are literally, anybody that comes on, they go straight onto elite. So then people are hitting these ranks so quickly. Uh, some people hit P5K in a matter of months. Um, as long as their people are making money and they're utilizing the full package, no one complains. So you get bonuses. Um, so with the Forex, HFX and DCX packages, um, you get a $25 bonus for anybody you sign up. Um, so if you sign someone up personally, you get a $25 bonus. But if you use the HFX or DCX bonus, you will not get that bonus because obviously there's a discount on there and that discount removes the bonus. Okay, and then so forth. The Elite Pack, if you sell someone the Elite Pack, you get a $50 bonus on that. Uh, there are additional bonuses. So when you hit P2K, you get a $500 bonus. Now these bonuses come after you retaining your rank for three months straight, no de-ranking or anything. So when I kept my P2K rank for three months, I got a $500 bonus uh, one week and you only get that once. And then if you go to P, uh, P5K, for example, um, you after three months, if you keep it without de-ranking, 
you get a $1,500 bonus. Chairman 10, you'll get 5K bonus, but you'll get that uh, over a two month period. And then Chairman 25, you get 10K bonus over a two month period. So I know that, say for example, Des um, got a 10K bonus a few weeks, weeks back. You, get, you, get, you got it in one week's payment, which was really good. So you got that one and then so forth and everything else and so forth there. When you hit Chairman 100, after your first three months, every month you're gonna get 100K bonus and so forth there. And then when you hit Chairman Ranks, you get an additional bonus on top, which is a payout bonus and so forth. These bonuses only happen when you basically the initial sign up. So if someone upgrades later on, you won't get that. You need to basically, when they sign up in the first place, that's when you get the bonus. You don't get the bonus after they've signed up, when they, if they're upgraded to Elite or so forth. You only get it when they sign up at the beginning, okay? So um, some teams, they get people onto Elite. But you only get these bonuses when you become IBO. Um, when you become an IBO and you had your first three people. So say, for example, um, someone's gone IBO. They've signed up their fourth person and they've gone IBO, they're gonna get a $25 bonus um, with their payment, which is great. <coughs> um, so they get that as well. So it's good then when you do that and you're still bringing customers, you're gonna get that. So I know that Steph gets people on the FRX and that doesn't have a discount. So she's always gonna get her $25 bonus. Anybody else? Gets, um, if you use the HFX discount or the DCX, you're not going to get a bonus, unfortunately, because you use a discount code. Um, so it's either you get people on a cheaper price and do that and so forth. But yeah, and then Elite, if you get people on Elite, $50 bonus, which is brilliant, especially when you're on P150. It means that you pushes your your residuals up because you're getting a big amount, which is over $50 because Skrill only pays you if you're weekly, if your residual is over $50. As you get P150 getting 3750, you're gonna get paid fortnightly. This is the problem I always had when I was sitting there going, why am I not getting paid every week? And they said, no, because under a certain amount, that's why you're not getting paid on ah, oh, get paid fortnightly. Okay, I totally understand. So it's that sort of thing. But when you hit chairman, you do get the infinity bonus on top. Um, so based on your leg, so you get one day, uh, one week in a month, you get an additional bonus on top based on your group volume and it's one percent in your group volume so you make sure your group volume is high so you can get um i know that des and some of the other chairmen's got 13 to 14k one week that's for one week so 13 to fourteen thousand dollars in one week and that's with that and plus the the chairman bonus on top as as well so that's that's huge um that's the amazing sort of thing and it is capped but then to get that on top of your normal money so your chairman money, your rank money, is um, is just a, just the base compared to what you can get on top of that. So uh, back office updates. There are certain times, especially I check. I check my back office, say for example, at 20 past 12, see if any drop-offs come off, so people are due their subscription. Around about 3.30, 4 o'clock, those who are paid, the automatic payment goes through. After five o'clock, so one past five, you'll get a decline report. P600s and above will see this. There's an option for decline report. I think they're going to work their way down to doing for P150s, but usually you'll get notified by your upline um, of any declines in your organization. Um, they will get emailed that their payment has declined and then they need to pay manually. Um, three days before their payment is due, they will get a message saying their payment's due and sometimes cancel. So uh, sometimes people cancel, they don't, they don't appear on the decline report. Now that comes down to you as a leader to investigate. If you know how much your numbers are at the beginning of the day and your numbers go down, but then you don't have any declines, then you know someone's canceled on a leg. So you just go down, look for your legs, hover over it, see the date. Oh, it's this person who's canceled. Go to the person who's brought them in or the leader, or if it's yourself, find out why they canceled, 
talk to them have you been checking in on your people have you been supporting them and so forth usually people will talk to you beforehand if they're deciding to cancel if you've been speaking to them if you haven't been communicating with them and they cancel then it's something that you need to work on and so forth um, and then obviously when people pay there are updates several throughout the day the key one for this one obviously 6 30 a.m 7 a.m monday cutoff period to goes into tuesday that's that's what i'm talking about in terms of you getting your residuals um so it's around about 5 a.m to midnight 1 a.m 1 a.m you need to make sure that you're on your rank on um tuesday morning okay we're nearly finished um decline report you get a decline report like this um and basically the decline report will show you who's declined if it's their credit card so they haven't got enough money on their on a debit or credit card then they need to make sure they have money in their account i am will not basically say for example um da -da 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 -da, if someone cancels or someone someone sorry if someone declines on the credit card they have to pay manually then to turn back office it will sometimes say manual which means if someone's come off they're two and three for example so i know someone's got an ibo and they're going to come off their two and three it will say manual and then you have to reactivate the re the cycle the payment cycle and so forth and there's dates i check on so i do this i send out decline reports to people and say this person's declined can you chase them up and so forth blah 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 um if someone cancels can it be scrubbed a date yes so if someone's left they have six months to come back within your organization as a six month period if they subscribe um, into another organization within that six months um, they're breaking the rules in IAM and obviously most leaders will report them and but they report the person who's recruited them and that person will lose their residuals and be kicked out of IAM if they try and do that because um, I've had, we've seen people do that um, many times people will try and um, cross recruit as we call it so you can't really cross recruit so that's a key thing as well we do say to people not to do that if people someone's left for a six month period um after the six months they can freely go wherever they want but they will lose their spot in your organization so imagine i've got someone um good example one of my leaders um basically about to hit p2k but there was someone above there and literally that person's left they left for a long time at that time that leader was p600 now they're, p, now they're coming back to p2k so that person's lost a whole p2k not even a p2k leg they've lost a p5k leg so because they've lost a p they've lost a p5k leg they missed the opportunity and they can't come back to that they'll start back and lower down so i've seen many people miss out on it um and have to start back and they, and they realize they find out oh wow i've got i had this person underneath me and i missed out on all that and all i need to do is build two legs exactly so it's that sort of thing you'll miss out on. Um, additional training. Des um, has an MA Finance Academy uh, back office video. I highly recommend this. So anybody who goes to go into IBO, um, I tell them to watch this video, but also watch my one now. Um, but this one's really good. It goes through all the stuff that I've gone through um, in detail, but also you can see a, li a live back office as well. Um, any questions? Yes, so if anybody's got any questions, if not, we are going to wrap up. So Rex, I know you always have questions, so feel free to type away. But um, if you've got anything, then yeah, let me know. <laughs> so anybody got any questions? I feel like this is all right. Uh, oh, there we go. Have you also registered as a customer to help your numbers? Um, you can register a package if you want. So I have an additional package that I use, um, but I know that I, my nephew uses it, someone else uses it. Um, so I use it uh, sometimes, but I have my own one as well. So if, um, if my nephew is using that one, I use my one, I use my one and so forth. You can do that, um, but it has to be a different card or you've paid by Skrill or um but you need to have a different username so the other account is my dad's one so my dad uses it um and if he's not using it i use it but i have one for myself um and do it that way but yeah it, it's just one person really and then you can put your add-ons in there 
personals leave but you have loads so it's not a problem that's what happens to people under them does one of them move up ah so what happens is after 12 months and this is what happened to me so for example after 12 months um that put the person above if they haven't got any personal sign ups and so forth um linked to them they're removed they are purged so this happened to me um last month so the person above one of my leaders um that leader was number two in my in my um list and then basically when they left um they disappeared they purged any customers that's gone for a year so any customers that have gone for a year, more than a year, they purge them. So they're removed from your back office. So I had a lot of people removed after a year, which is great. Um, so it saves you time. The others below you stay with you. They're there. That's it. They don't go anywhere. <laughs> they're always going to be your customers. They don't they're paying their subscription. You never lose them. So it's there. It's only ones that have left. They've unsubscribed and they've gone for over a year. They're purged. They just go. So they've started doing that now. Before they never used to do it, but they've started doing it now. And I experienced that myself. I had customers for, who have left for over a year. It clears out my back office. It looks nice and it's better than. So if someone mistakenly signs under you or hasn't done a package or whatever, it's going to be there for a year. You might have a dead leg for a year or over a year. But after that year, that person's disappeared. And it's gone. Uh, da, da, da. So everyone else, everyone else stays. No one goes. Don't worry about it, Katie. Um, it doesn't create. No, 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 no. If you've got someone with it has multiple legs under them, it will keep that person at the top, so it doesn't affect your business further down. So it does that. So I've already experienced that myself. So it's that. That's why I always say build down on one leg when you're when you're building people under other people to help them. So say for example. Because like I said about the free leg rule, you're building down under people uh, because you've got to keep it that way. But people cannot benefit from you building under them until they've got an IBO and they've got their free customers. And then they start building. They can build two legs and you build one and so forth. And then people build it. When you've got literally builders in, in your legs, they're going to build it up for you. But you've always got to get customers because... You could de-rank one of your, one of your customers goes IBO and wants to build an IBO. I've seen someone drop from P5K down to P150 because one of their customers, because they had three customers, um, was it two, two or three? Uh, yeah, three customers, and one of them went IBO, and they went down from 5K to P150 um, because their customer went IBO. They had to basically get a customer. It was on a Monday as well, so it's always good to just do that yeah like, like a ghost leader yeah they just sit there and yeah you've got to stay in phase one always stay in phase one and so forth so make sure that you keep an eye on things and so forth keep an eye on the people and everything that you do um and everything happens that's what i always say um because then you're going to cause problems for yourself um and that's why i say don't try and take up when you're building build on one leg if you're building people down so you give people that you have brought in the option to go to and free still because you haven't taken up two of their spots if you take up two of their spots under them then when they get a second person they'll have to go ibo to place the other person to avoid having four legs so you're disadvantaging people that's what we say build down uh, build down on each leg and if a leader is going to say look i'm going to put someone under you to help you in the future never refuse a leader who's trying to build you up to your next rank that always helps um you do that so i've done that for a few people i just said you know what have this person um because i've got i've got three legs i've, I've got to keep the three legs so if i if i bring someone in i've brought someone in this weekend i've placed them under someone um to help them get closer to their next rank <laughs> yeah oh yeah you get that you do get that don't worry about that it will happen don't forget you have someone above you and for them, they need you to grow. So to help you grow, they've got to place people under you. It's happened to it happened to you, um, like many others. I do that. I do it for yeah. I do it for all the people in the organisation. I've done it for them. As long as you're you're happy, you're not gonna ref, you're not gonna review someone trying to help you get to your next rank. So it's that sort of thing. But I know Katie, don't worry about that. I know that Nicola will look out for you. If if but if you are if you are the uh, the strong leg. They've got to focus on the other two 
and get them up or something like that you're going to get the point where you are the power leg you might not get as much help um, as they got to build up the developing leg the developing leg is the one that's a key one that will you like when you go to p150 and p600 you gotta have a leg balance and then when you get to when you go up to your next rank you can have a developing leg so the other two legs need to be up there but if you balance them right um you'll be all right so like i said i've got two legs that are literally the same and i've got one developing leg which is not that far behind so i'm going to try and boost that one up which means that um i need less i don't need massive numbers um on two legs and it's good to keep them up around the same because when they hit the chairman numbers if they're all at that that developing leg number and they're all going up then you're sorted you don't need to stress but always check on your check on your team um check on your numbers and so forth um and just do do what you need to do to develop your legs and so forth but like i said the power of three legs is key go ibo um i always say get, have a package so you know what you're teaching and supporting your people with because it's not good if you don't have a package you don't know how to support your people so i always stress that people all have a package and once you develop your people below you you create duplication so not everyone relies on you because you'll get, get to the point where you're going to get high in your rank create duplication create the leaders because they're able to support their own people so that's the sort of thing i always stress to people you can't just rely on your upline to manage your people you've got to be able to manage them yourself and do that because that's the way of a leader create duplication because if everyone relies on you um at the top then you're never going to be able to basically create that duplication you don't go to manage things all right so thanks um seems like everyone is good yeah duplication is key that's what's helped me create this checking my back office regularly and stuff to help me maintain my numbers maintain my rank and so forth if you know what the people are coming into your business that are new coming to your business check your back office um make sure that people know that they have to go ibo make sure people don't have end up with six legs or four i've heard people have six legs i didn't even know about this so it's very very key please 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 always do that so thank you for jumping on i'll see you all again soon um have a lovely rest of your week um and yeah i'll send out this recording um i did change it up this week so here we go so i'm gonna stop recording